boy do I have a treat for you today. If you've been following my channel for a little while, you would know that this is definitely the last thing you would see in my shop. But here we are, I have one. Uh, no, I don't have one. I'm fixing it for somebody else. This here is my uh, landlord's truck. He has a very large, very cool American classic car collection. Uh, I would say this is one of the least clean ones that he has. I'm assuming that's probably why he trusted me to work on it. You know, I just got the shop, so he doesn't really know if I do quality work. So I'm assuming he wouldn't want to trust me with one of his better cars. But uh, here's what we got. It's a 19, I already forgot, 1954. We're going to call it a 1954 uh, Chevy 3100 truck. That's literally the model name truck. This thing is pretty cool. Like you guys know, I'm not into American cars, uh, but I can respect something like this. And what I'm gonna be working on is fixing an oil leak. Here we have a oil pan gasket. That's something I gotta replace. Well, actually I don't have to replace this. This is not leaking. What I do have to replace is the rear main seal. Presumably this is the right one. There's only one way to find out. So this is what's actually leaking. I'm pretty sure I'm the one who diagnosed it. I could be wrong. Obviously I'm not familiar with the platform. So they make these aftermarket ones where just two half circle uh, seals. So you don't have to you know, tear apart the motor and separate it from the transmission. You can just slide in these half circles. So something very different for this channel, but I figured some of you guys might enjoy it. Uh, might as well, you know, diversify my channel a little bit. It's leaking pretty good. This thing has only been parked here since yesterday, last night around. So it's only been like 17 hours and we have a pretty, pretty significant puddle. The one good thing about this is that when I do move out of the shop, hopefully he won't blame me for oil spills on the ground because I'll be like, oh yeah, that's just from your truck. I know how visible that is on camera, but I noticed that this wheel is hanging significantly lower than this one. And at first I thought, hey, maybe that's normal. Maybe that's just old Chevy thing, but it's not. This pretty sure should be connected to this. Man, this thing is so weird. This is where the engine ends. So this whole thing is an oil pan, super long engine, kind of ridiculous. But then this is all the transmission. It's that small. Isn't that crazy? I think it's only a three speed. It's got reverse and then one, two, three gears. Uh, so I guess it doesn't really need to be big, but still like it is probably six times smaller than transmissions, Volkswagens and Audis that I've dealt with. But those are usually all wheel drive. That definitely contributes to them being bigger. See, the leak is coming out of this hole. So when he brought me this truck, uh, the first time he had said that the oil pan gasket is leaking and that's why he wanted me to replace it. And I'm like, sure, that's fine. And then as soon as I got this thing into the air, I kind of noticed that the actual oil pan doesn't seem to be uh, leaking much. Well, the leak is coming from whatever is behind that hole. I don't know what that is because I have no idea what this truck is, but, but it definitely seems to me that the leak is coming from this area, uh, the flywheel. An American car this old, does it use metric sockets or SAE? 19 seems perfect. Okay, so maybe they did use metric. for a second. That didn't really go as planned. There it is. Crank bearing right here, still attached. So it looks like this is our main seal and this definitely doesn't look stuck. Uh, the reason why I know it's not stuck is because it is orange. Secondly, because I'm pretty sure uh, these trucks, based on the research that I have done, uh, these trucks used a, a rope style gasket. They do seem to be of the same size. So at least I got the right part. That's, uh, that's good. So the bottom piece that I already took out will be super easy to install. It'll just sit inside of this, right in one of these little channels. But the top one, I think it's gonna be a bit of a pain in the butt. This little lip that you see that does most of the sealing is definitely pretty worn out on this little guy and maybe that's why we're leaking oil. By the way, it's Halloween time. Extra scary lighting is on purpose. Oh yeah, perfect. Oh, look at that. Smooth as butter, coming right up. We're just gonna work it out piece by piece. I don't wanna pull it straight down. And there you go, came right up. We need to make sure that the, that the lip is pointing towards the motor. I did get a little sick of sitting under that oil rain. Uh, so why don't we just install the easier part?
managed to get the seal in. Uh, it wasn't an easy process at all, uh, uh, but I got it in. Had to get pretty, pretty rough with it. Even used a hammer at times. It did shave off some rubber from the sides of the seal, uh, but I think as long as vertically it is okay, uh, it should keep the oil from leaking out. I cut off all the old gasket. Uh, now we're just gonna go over this with a little bit of a uh, sandpaper. Nothing crazy, just try and smooth it out a little bit more. much much better it doesn't feel as gross touching it anymore so um, I would say that's an improvement in fact ideally I would just completely sand this thing down and repaint it and honestly I don't necessarily feel like doing all that because then I'd have to let it dry and then basically I just want to finish up this project <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm gonna be very inclined to cry if this thing leaks oil. This is a very hardcore dipstick. You could literally defend yourself with one of these and it's got a little finger hole too, so you could just do. Okay, let's see how this goes. Okay, so I think this here is a choke, this here is the throttle. This here is the starter key. I know that one. Uh, let's see if I can I'm gonna push in the clutch and I think up is reverse, down is first, and then out, second, third. That should be neutral. All right. I am terrified. Choke out, throttle out partially. Never been so scared to start a car in my life before. Okay, that is the starter motor. That's how that sounds. All right, well, this uh, project is complete. Um, hopefully, hopefully he doesn't call me and uh, say, hey, my car just dumped uh, two quarts of oil on the ground. That would be very unfortunate, uh, but theoretically it should be fine. The latest update is that I finally got my Wisconsin plates. Big fan of the black and big fan of the customization. This is my first uh, customized plate. I, um, I know it's not very original, obviously just the, the car's model and generation, but uh, it's exciting enough. And I love the fact that it's black. Uh, I always wanted a black one, but in Illinois it would have to be white socks. I don't really care about cricket, so I don't want to do that. I guess on that note, I'm just going to clean up this mess. And thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed this, you made it this far, consider doing a couple of clicks. You know where. I know you know. <laughs>